Ladies and gentlemen, Mariah Carey. Ooh. Having a good time? Enjoying this? All the divas are having a really good time backstage. Um, I just tripped Gloria on the way out. Um, I stole some of Celine's clothes while we were backstage and um, everything's going great. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> okay, but the real reason we're all here and why we all wanted to do this show is because music is so important um, to all of our lives. And VH1's Save the Music campaign is a cause close to our hearts. Um, learning music isn't just about fun. Scientific studies have proven that music education greatly increases children's basic math and reading ability. I mean, I don't know what happened to me, but... <laughs> it, uh, it also encourages creativity and improves self-esteem. And unfortunately, cuts in public school funding have seriously jeopardized America's music programs. So it's time to take a stand, and VH1's Save the Music Foundation aims to turn this thing around. <laughs> now, in partnership with their cable affiliates, VH1 is launching this campaign nationwide. Now, how important is this? Don't take my word for it. Let's hear from the experts. The music helps me in math. 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 You have to learn half and fractions and stuff. That's the same thing you learn in math. It gives them a sense of self-confidence about the rest of the curriculum. If you can play an instrument and read music, you can do just about anything. I want to be a dancer. A chef. A teacher. It's not about teaching kids to become professional musicians later on. It's about enriching their lives when they're younger, enabling them to get higher test scores in things like science and math, which it's been proven that, that music education helps as well. Despite the mounting evidence of music education's benefits, arts budgets throughout the nation continue to be slashed. That's why VH1 formed Save the Music, a foundation devoted to restoring music programs in public schools across the country. The music will help them to become better academic students. We could not have accomplished this if it wasn't for Save the Music uh, in our schools, which donated this fabulous piano for us. And their instruments were in such bad shape, you couldn't teach anything with them because they weren't playable. With Save the Music, I was really, really astounded when I came in here, and it was just uh, like, this is great. Brand new instruments to work with, fine. VH1 went to the White House, where the First Lady and President Clinton helped to kick off the VH1 Save the Music campaign nationwide. Well known as music lovers, they knew just how to send the right message to the country. Good evening, everyone. I hope you're enjoying tonight's concert. I am honored to join the president, John Sykes, tonight's performers, and all of you to save the music in our nation's schools. While most of us will never sing like Aretha Franklin or Celine Dion, an education in the arts can help all of us reach our individual dreams. Research now shows that music education not only lifts our children's hearts, but also dramatically increases their abstract reasoning, spatial skills, and their scores on math and verbal exams. At a time when too many arts education programs are the first to be cut and the last to be added, all of us must send a clear message. When it comes to igniting our children's ability to learn and imagine, the arts must be just as central to our children's education as the three R's. I want to thank VH1 and all of you for working so hard to make that possible. When the president asked how he could help, I said, do you have a spare saxophone you could part with? You know, and he said, and I'm not joking, sure, I think I've got one in the attic. Well, the leader of the free world is a man of his word. He is sending a message to millions of Americans by donating the most famous saxophone in the country. Hopefully, the rest of us will follow his lead. Mr. President, I always knew you had soul, but now I know you have great heart, too. I want to thank Hillary and John Sykes for their comments and to say how very pleased I am to help launch VH1 Save the Music, which is already improving the quality of music education across our country. In that spirit, I'm pleased to present this saxophone to an accomplished young artist, Gregory Thompson. Come on in, Gregory. <laughs> now, Gregory's been playing the saxophone since the fourth grade, and last year he won an invitation to play in the Duke Ellington Youth Music Festival. 
That's a very high honor. Gregory, I'm proud, and I know your parents are proud, that you've developed your gift for music. And with the help of VH1 Save the Music, other students will develop that gift too. Thank you. Because music and education equals brain power.